I know you're scared, but we're at Aga Khan University Hospital now. It's the best place for you. They will help. Hi. I need help for my friend. Hello. My Hi. friend needs help. Okay. Mm. What happened? He, he, he can't mm. talk. He all can't right, talk. all right. Need Follow help. us. Follow us. He's, he's really, really scared. We don't know what to do. All right. All right. Sir, can you tell me your name? Mm. He can't talk. Okay. He, my he name is Dr. Talk. Kimmel. I'll be taking care of you. Does Angie kindly connect the patient to the monitor? All right. My name is Dr. Kimmel. What happened? He, he just, he, he's been very, very weak. He, mm -hmm. he stopped talking. Mm -hmm. he, I can see he's trying to talk, but I don't know what he's saying. All right. Roughly what time did this happen? Um, two hours ago. Around two hours. All right. What's his name? Capital. Capital. So Capital, raise your legs for me, please. Both legs. Okay, okay. Try and hold them up. Okay, okay, for five seconds. All right, try to raise your hands for me. Okay, try to keep them up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I see he has difficulty on his left side. Okay, so I will take your mask off for a bit. Okay, I'll take mine also, take mine off as well. Try and copy what I'm doing, okay? So try and smile as much as you can, wide. Okay, I see you're having a bit of trouble on one side. Try puff out your cheeks like you're blowing a balloon. Okay, okay, I can see he has some obvious weakness on one side. Last, try and raise your eyebrows like you're surprised. Raise your eyebrows. All right, all right. Try and shut your eyes completely. Don't allow me to open them. Okay, so it seems like Capital is having a stroke from the basic symptoms, all right? Okay. Okay, don't panic, don't panic. You've come to the best place. We'll take good care of him. What, what do right? I do now? What do, what, right. what do we do? Right now, you calm down, all right? Within 20 minutes, you're going to get a CT. Okay. Within 15 minutes, we'll get a full report, okay. all right? All the time, I'll have the neurologist on the phone, all right? Then as soon as we get the full report, he'll be down to see him and we'll know the way forward. Is that okay? okay? Please hurry, just do we'll whatever you need to do. care of him. All right. Okay. Thank Angie, you. quickly take uh, his vitals for me, a random blood sugar and an ECG as I call CT to be ready for us. Thank you. All right. Meanwhile, Angie, I'll be starting the acute stroke pathway. Start documenting. Hello, radiology. Yes, this is Dr. Kimmel from Casualty. We have a patient with an acute stroke within two hours. We'd like to come in for an urgent head CT. Are you ready for us? Okay. Okay, we'll be there within three minutes. It's a big machine. One, two, three. Okay, good job. Okay, Dr. Mavuti, what do you see? Hi, Doc. Mm -hmm. So your patient yes. um, uh, has this hypodense area. Mm. So looks like a left dominant vertebral basilar artery system. Do you want me to get you some water? Are you thirsty? Mm -hmm. Hello, so I'm back with your results. Huh? So the scan showed that it's quite serious, okay? We've diagnosed what we call an acute ischemic stroke. That basically means not enough blood is flowing to his brain, all right? So he will need admission. He will need a lot of uh, more tests, a bit more imaging. We need to see exactly where, where which part is not getting enough blood. Um, while the senior uh, neurologist and neurosurgeons will be on board, all right? I've already called our senior neurologist. He's coming right away. 
Thank you All so right. much. Okay, we'll so continue to monitor him. This is happening today or? Just now, okay. in less than five minutes. All right? Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. It's going to be okay. Ah, right, Dr. Ike is here. Uh -huh. Good morning. Morning, Dr. Ike. Yes, you yes. have consulted for a patient? Yes, my name is Dr. Kimeo. I had attended to Mr. Capital first. Yes. He's 56 years old, yes. a non-diabetic, hypertensive, um, dyslipidemia, on uh, multiple of medication. I'll relate to you. We first of all need to initiate intravenous thrombolysis all right. to break up the clot. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, we will need to urgently escalate the patient to our neurosurgical team mm -hmm. in order for them to transfer the patient to cath lab for intravascular mechanical thrombectomy okay. in order to retrieve the clot all from right. the brain. All yes. right. So let's work on that. Okay, so I'll call uh, the neurosurgical team immediately yes. and then prepare the cath lab. Yes, and oh. in the meantime I'll be getting consent from the patient mm -hmm. and discussing with his family. All right, yes. thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Rachel, we've got a patient with a stroke. Dr. Mm -hmm. Chow, please brief us. Yes, morning Dr. Morgan. Morning, morning, how are you? I'm well. So we have a 56-year-old male, no diabetic, hypertensive, presented within two hours. So we've thrombolized already. Okay. Uh, Dr. Ikea was aware and he recommended that we bring him up for thrombectomy. Okay, thank you yes. very much. All right. So is, is he hypertensive? Yes. He's a known hypertensive. Yes. So diabetic hypertensive, yes. 56 year old, yes. with two hours ictus, post thrombolysis. Yes. Okay. Uh, please tell Kennedy to bring us a six French sheet. We are going to need a six French uh, MPD, uh, my uh, gun catheter, and we are going to need a stent. Uh, looking at the CT angiogram, probably 5.5 millimeter. Stent will be fine. Uh, let's set up the heparin drips, and then let's get busy with that. All right, uh, what is his first name? I said Capital. Okay, Mr. Capital, so for the last two hours, your brain is suffering because it is lacking oxygen because the major vessel has been blocked. So our job is that we need to restore blood flow to that part of the brain, okay? So what I'm gonna do is with my team, we're going to put a catheter in your groin, and through that, we're gonna put a longer catheter and take it all the way into the major vessel of the brain called the carotid, okay? We'll inject dye and take a few pictures to confirm that the cutoff is still there and to confirm which is the best approach. Once we have confirmed where the cutoff is, we will take another smaller catheter and take it into the clot. And through that, we're going to deploy what is called a stent. It's a device that looks like a, a small uh, wire which is woven together, like a woven wire. We're going to leave it there and open it up. And then we're going to do a few more runs to confirm that blood flow has been restored. And after a few minutes, we're going to pull it and remove the clot and therefore restore blood to your brain. Do you understand? Okay. So, Mr. Capital, you will feel a tingle on the right side. You're going to feel a bit of pain on the right, on the back of your right eye, okay? That's just pulling the catheter down. It's going to be adhering to a bit of your vessel. That will be a bit uncomfortable, okay? Here we go. Perfusion has been restored. That's it. Can you bend your left knee for me? Okay, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Wiggle your toes. Okay, okay, that's very good. So you're gonna have some difficulty in speech, but over the next few hours, words will start coming back, okay? Good, well done. It's been about 70 minutes. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good, I think. All right, so the procedure went well. All right, so just want to check up on him, how he is doing. Capital, how are you feeling? I'm good, thank You're you good. very much. Any pain? None whatsoever. All right, now I can hear he's talking. Course. That is wonderful. So remember the tests we did earlier? I just want to repeat them to yeah. make sure that the, the procedure worked, all right? Yeah. Okay, so remember I asked you to smile? Yeah. Okay, show me all your teeth. All the way back. See, now he, he can do that. That's amazing. All right. Now I want you to stretch out your hands in front of you. Raise them up for five seconds. Cool. So, yeah, okay. Okay. 
All right, so raise your hands straight up, straight up. Hold them up for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Can you feel your hands the same? Yeah. Okay, on both sides? Yes. That's good, and you couldn't do that before. All right, so your legs, you can raise them just under the bed sheet. Just try raise them. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Wonderful, wonderful. So that's really good, all right? So what, I mean, what do we do now? Like, where do we? So we'll still need to monitor him very closely, all right, as we address the risk factors of what got him here, all right? I will check for his cholesterol, his sugars, um, his blood vessels, any for any signs of inflammation, uh, along with the neurologist also. But for now, he's fine. For now, we're happy he's stable. <sighs> you scared me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't be too hard on him. We're happy you're doing very well, and thank you for coming to Aga Khan University Hospital. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, I'll be back soon.